Boom. Uh, what's the date? Today. Today. Today is the twelfth. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm hey, ready. what's up, everybody? Oh, Welcome God. to the Hollings Workplace. That's list. a new thing. This will be for February 13th, 2019 of our Lord. Yes. Uh, I am one of your hosts, Big Irish Jay Hollingsworth. Big and Jay. as always, we have... Co, co, co. Cocaine. Kane Holloway. Woo! Oh, Everyone thought that their podcast has <laughs> stopped. <laughs> I trick everybody. It's not even April Fool's Day yet. I'm hyped. <laughs> I wish those would have just sprang open. Oh, um, you're on your coffee. I got my five-hour energy mixed with my water. Oh, that's pretty uh, good. Oh, Kane. Oh. Valentine's Day is mm. uh, two days away. Oh, yeah. Your girl's not here. No. She's up in uh, Spokane. It has just been a jerk fest in this town. <laughs> Every room in the house. <laughs> the, the jerk fest called. <laughs> oh God! All right, <laughs> running out of you. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, Kelsey's up in Spokane, uh -huh. uh, Spokane Comedy Club. Yes. And then you're going up Thursday. I'm going up Thursday. That is Valentine's Day. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we're doing a show in Olympia. Together. And a lot of fucking. And we're just gonna—it's <laughs> gonna be another jerk fest. Uh, um, oh, so you're flying to Spokane? No, no, no. I'm flying oh. to Seattle. We're doing Olympia. Oh Jesus! Um, and then, like, I'm, I, as soon as I get off the plane, we're driving to Olympia. When do you get in? I get in at like five. No, no, her pussy. Oh, <laughs> around <laughs> four forty-five. What up? Down Jesus five. Christ! It's like Woo! Kelsey listens to this to be like, I fucking hate Jay. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, and then you'll be at the Underground this weekend. Yeah, I'll be at the Underground. I don't even know if I'm gonna get there because the fucking snow. Yeah, I was telling you uh, when I was coming in. I talked to our mutual friend Tyler Smith. T-Bones. Uh, the Dope Show producer. T-Dope. Um, he hasn't left his house in four days because of all the snow. It's so crazy. Yeah. I can't imagine. He's, I, it's like the worst in 10 years or some shit. Yep. I remember when it was pretty bad. Uh, I remember back in the back day. Back in my day. It was funny. I, like, uh, I was working at Sleep Country USA when that was still what it was called. And What's it called now? I think it's called Sleep Train. And those guys, they, they were all about workforce. They didn't give a fuck about their employees. I remember one time that they, uh, my dad was in the hospital. So I was like, hey, man, I just got to call them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, <laughs> the guy that laughs in appropriate times, you're like, I remember my dad was in the hospital. <laughs> oh, shit, man. That's uh, a good one. You're, like, Wait, you're not even listening. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck? But, sorry. But like, uh, I was in the, he went to the hospital and then I was like, hey, I got to go. My dad's in the hospital. And they go, okay, uh, get a doctor's note. And without even thinking about it, I was like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll get a doctor's note. And I got in my car, and as I was driving, I just kept hearing, doctor's note, doctor's note, doctor's note. So then I walk in, see my dad, and then I go up to the doctor. And as I'm about to ask for a doctor's note, I, like, catch myself. And I'm like, I'm not asking this guy. If I can get a doctor's note. About, for a, my dad. For my dad. That so, I'm visiting. Yeah. So I was like, fuck that. And I went back to work, and I was like, uh, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to, I wouldn't use my dad as a way to get out of, of work. Not this time anyway. And, uh, and they, and they it were, would be my grandmother. Right. And then they were like, okay, I, we, we see what you're saying. And then they wrote me up. Are you serious? Yeah. Fucking scumbags. Yeah. Sleep train or Sleep, country yeah, or whatever. Yeah, they suck. And then, and, and it was snowing one time. So they're like, hey, the snow is uh, getting pretty crazy. Everybody go home. Just go home now. Um, because we're hoping that the snow should melt and you guys can come to work the next day. And the news was saying that they were going to like shut down highways. And so we're all of the, all of the employees are just like, Hey, we're, we're not going to come in. Yeah. Like we all collectively came to the conclusion we're not coming in, but they let us go a little too late. So uh, when I, on the drive home, it is, it looks like the walking dead, but with snow, all the cars are just, is this when the like people were leaving their cars on the freeway? Yes. Yeah, I remember that. that you shit. remember that shit, dude? I think I was working at Verizon uh, during that time. Dude, I had my Toyota Tercel that I used to drive to fucking gigs, and the '95 Toyota Tercel, and uh, this thing had this thing had bad summer tires. Oh, let fuck, alone fucking yeah. winter tires. And I'm I'm taking the exit uh, up. I'm going up this exit ramp oh. into Puyallup. And I start sliding backwards, and then this cup, this guy comes up, 
He, I put it, I put the e-brake on, and I, some, I stopped sliding, and he goes, I'll push it. He pushes me up the hill, and then I go... With his car? Yeah. Right. Then I go, thanks, and then I take the turn. I start going down the hill. I might as well have just let it stay on the exit ramp. I slid the whole fucking way down in a circle, and then I hit a, a light. I hit a fucking street lamp, and then I, and then I left it in a McDonald's parking lot. And then, and then I ran home, and I almost got hit by a car on the run home. I wonder if this, uh, I remember, I think, I think my old roommate Randy Mangalandan, when know. I was doing Wing Chun, uh, Wing Chun Do, I, I forget, we were coming on 405 South from like, uh, uh, was it Everett Mall, like from that area, mm -hmm. um, 405 South, and we're taking a uh, off-ramp that goes towards the old Dragon's Lair Club, um, so the off ramp goes up. It goes up, and then you take a right. So as we start to go up it, I f no traction, and I just fucking go <laughs> off oh. to the right and cr you know fucking crash the car. Right. I remember driving from Boston to um, Oregon when I moved back from Boston. Uh, you know, I, I you know this. I've just, like there's been like f probably five or six times now that. I've sold everything I owned except for clothes and like pictures mm -hmm. and then moved cross country at some point. I did that going to Tampa, back from Tampa, going to Boston, back from Boston, uh, going from Seattle to Sacramento. I did that. Um, so uh, I'm driving from from Boston to Portland, Portland or Seattle, one of them. And I literally everything I own in the world is in my car. Uh. You know, it's every, like old my, my grandmother put together this family like uh, I was gonna see yearbook. This family fucking what is it called? Photo album. Yeah, and like and like our history of our family. Like, like we have we're somehow connected to the um the what is it the the Hatfield McCoy thing? Oh really? Yeah, we're, our Hat family's like part of the McCoys, I guess. Oh, I would like, I would have guessed Hatfields. Why? Just because of the H. Maybe maybe it is. I don't even know. I I know. I just know that we're in that. Like our our cousins or you know relatives are related to that, but it has like shit about that. It has uh, Valentine Hollingsworth, this the the Hollingsworth that came over from Ireland to I think he went to Delaware in like the 1600s, but it has all this shit, you know. Um, so I have that, my clothes, pictures, all this stuff, and I'm driving through Nebraska. Well, first when I left, I had to stop in New York. I don't know what city, but it was like so bad. I was like. Okay, fuck this. I'm just gonna stay overnight and hope for the best. I'd rather drive in shit weather during the day than at night, right? Right. So made it out of New York. I'm driving through Nebraska of all places, and as we're driving, there's like uh, like signs saying, you know, don't drive. And but it's like it's all just flat, right? So I'm like, what the fuck? So I take an off ramp, get something to eat. I get back on. I'm driving, and I'm doing probably. 20 miles an hour, main, maybe, and all of a sudden starts fishtailing one way, starts fishtailing the other way, and then I do like a fucking 180. Basically, I spin in the middle of the freeway. Luckily, there's nobody around me. I spin to where I'm now sideways on the freeway. If I look to the right, I'm looking at the direction I want to be traveling, and if I look to the left, I see semi coming. And luckily, slowly. And so I'm like, oh, God. And so it's like you want to peel out, and but you can't. So right. you're like, okay. And it, it's like fucking, you know, oh, God, here we go. Five miles an hour. Oh, please let me. And luckily, I got straightened out. And then I took the next off ramp. I was like, okay, maybe they're right. Maybe I shouldn't drive. I fucking hate black ice, dude. Oh, yeah. Black I, I, I hate driving in that shit. And I black ice is the fucking terrifying. Do you ever think that... The the human beings weren't supposed to uh, inherit the earth, <laughs> and that we're not actually supposed to be here because there's all kinds of stuff that's trying to kill us, and one of them's the weather all yeah. the time. Even the smallest thing, which is snow, snow comes down, builds up, creates black ice on the road that we created. We made those roads, and then the ice was like. Yeah, here's a big sheen of ice that you can't see. And then fucking your car, the cars you build to protect you will peel off and fall off a mountain and you'll die. Yeah. Even even the best weather. Sun, oh, would you like some cancer? <laughs> you know, you're fucked either way, dude. Right. Oh, I dude. don't think human beings, I'm rewatching True Detective season one. Mm. And, uh, and fuck, I've never agreed with somebody more... Uh, the main character, Matthew McConaughey, 
he plays Russ Cole, and he it's like a really introspective thing. Uh, his dialogue is like he's like um, the biggest the biggest mistake was human consciousness, like being aware of ourselves and then thinking we're something, thinking we're somebody, Got when it. really we're just a collective, and that w what we should all do is walk hand in hand to oblivion, essentially just like walk into just the middle walking. of the ocean and, and like be happy that we're going into extinction. And I've ne I was sitting there going like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this dude. world sucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's dude. just take ourselves out. Uh, did you see the fucking... Um all the shit, it, Prada, Gucci, and Katy Perry. No. Do you have any idea what I'm talking Nothing. about? Nothing. Absolutely none. Well, you know, I'm I'm a big fan of Black Twitter. Certainly. Yeah. And uh, so, dude. Okay. Again, it's February. It's Black History Month. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Uh, Gucci came out with a sweater. Oh boy. The, it's a black sweater that's a turtleneck, but when you pull the turtle black, it's a black sweater no, that's turtleneck. Don't do you it. You pull it up to here, no. and it has a mouth opening with red, big red lips. That's that's Gucci. Oh my! Prada God. in one of their display windows have these little black like figurines, red lips, all this shit. And then Katy Perry have these shoes. No. They're like high heel shoes. That were imagine a high high heel shoe uh -huh. that's black and has big red lips and then and like these blue eyes. But it, dude, so all three of those have been like apologizing and uh, black Twitter's on like ban or you know fuck Gucci, fuck Prada, which I get. Yeah, and uh, we never listened to Katy Perry in the first place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but I'm like, dude, I'm I wonder if these companies just know have what they're like, doing. No, if they just have no black people working to just be like, as that's going through the different meetings, like are all, <laughs> is it just all white executives that are just like, yeah, it looks good. Or maybe, maybe they do have, they just don't listen to them, you know, maybe they're just like, guys, this is probably gonna, this is gonna spark some sort of controversy, or maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe Prada and Gucci know exactly what they're doing. That'd be so fucking stupid. The, the Coke commercial... Did you see the Coke commercial? Not to, it, this is on topic. Yeah, no, no. Uh, so, which, so we'll get back to it. be a little more vague. The Coke commercial? So there's a Coke commercial that is, that is um, trying to sell Coca-Cola uh, during Black History Month. Okay. So it shows you the different bottle shape. Oh, my God. I did the, see this. The year and what happened. Yeah, it's like uh, Rosa Parks. Yeah. It made, they don't or, you even know, say it. They just they give you the year and a vague description. They don't say who or, or, or what. They just And, and uh, as I'm, I'm watching the bottles, I'm like, this is just to sell bottles. So Rosa Parks was sipping on an ice-cold, yeah. refreshing Coca-Cola uh, when I saw some that white man like, told her to get yeah. up. <laughs> Fuck you. And then what I love most about it is that they go, uh, 1963, this this man decided to march for freedom and then a time jump all the way to 2008 when Barack Obama oh. was elected president. They haven't done anything from 63 <laughs> to 2008. They? Are you talking about Coke or? Yeah, Coke. I no, dude, I did see that. And it's so funny because at first I was like, what fucking Coke? But I did see that and I remember it so vividly because I had the same reaction when I was watching. I was like, what the fuck do these, were you like, was, was the guy that was like, get to the back of the bus sipping on a Coke? <laughs> yeah. When it, dude. That was the most, that was, I'm like, do you guys, can't you just put up a, like, if you have to watermark your commercial with a Coca-Cola little button oh, at the bottom, okay, fine. But. Don't don't sit don't, there and try people to make aren't fucking, me think. Yeah, it's the people aren't stupid. Just like, dude, just be like, you know, you could you could just have a thing with all these great things, and at the end, just be like Coca Cola. Uh, you know, we support our, our Black History yes. Month, our African American brethren, whatever. Yes, you don't, and just leave like that. But to be like, this is our bottle in 1960. You know, yeah. uh, this is oh, dude, it is. It's they I, left they left out uh, Malcolm X. They left out like all kinds of. Like all all kinds of different things. Who else? Who else uh, did they leave out? Uh, oh, I, I had fuck. I had his name. 
The peanut butter guy. <laughs> oh, God. The guy that created peanut George butter. George Washington Carver? Yes. Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. You're like Bruce Leroy? <laughs> 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 Fucking Jesus. <laughs> I love that you were like, I got one. I'm going to start this, yeah. and then, oh, God, I've lost it. Yeah. Please don't call me out on it, Jay. Well, look, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not considering myself some historian. Uh, that knows that knows everything he should sh- we should all know about our uh, history, but I mean, t- what? to have that type of time jump, oh yeah, is just insulting. Oh, dude. I mean, not not that I have like again, I don't really have a, I don't have like dude, an example. You, I mean, you, there's so much. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna go down, but I mean, you could have had the the women that worked at NASA. There you go, dude. <laughs> you're just anything see? I say. There you go. Yeah, see, I knew that one. <laughs> Hidden Figures. <laughs> Loved that movie. Uh, yeah, it's just, dude, I, it's so f- dumb. I, I saw this meme today. Uh, I don't know who, I'd love to give credit, but some girl posted it, and she was like, don't get mad at me. It's not, I didn't write it. And I'm like, well, who fucking did? Why are you, I hate that. It drives me nuts. Like, I always, anytime I, I post something that, you know, is somebody else's thing that's funny, I always try and make sure to give them credit. Right. Because as comics, people steal our shit all the time and mm-hmm. make memes. Fuck Jerry. Fuck uh, Jerry. <laughs> But uh, she posted this thing, and it was so great. It said, uh, white people want to put blackface on everything except Jesus. And I was like, oh, that's fucking yeah, great. That's great. <clears throat> so true. Um, I texted you a bunch of shit that I wanted to talk about. Uh, uh, oh, well, before we get to that, I just was like, to go back to like the uh, like mishandling of all kinds oh, of yeah. things. I was, I was at the... I know it. I'll just, go ahead. Sorry. I was at the haha last night. And I was talking with, uh, I can't remember what it was brought. Oh, this dude, this dude was like, dude, did you hear about this congressman? Oh, the blackface. Yeah, the, the blackface thing. <laughs> and they dredged up an old photo. And then the guy, he, he's, one guy's in blackface, one guy's in a KKK hood. And, they, and he's like, doesn't know which one he was. That's what he said, apparently. I don't know the whole story. And but this is what I heard through the grapevine is that he didn't know which one he was, and then he apologized, and then the next day he goes, you know what? I don't recollect this, so it wasn't me, and it didn't happen. But then since then he's come back out and said it was him, right? Is, I don't know. So I, do you know the other part of this whole thing? No. You only know that part. Just that part. Okay. Well, is it in Virginia? Is the guy? I think so. Okay. So the best part is there's another guy in Virginia. That same thing got caught with blackface. I, They're fucking. I don't, dude. I, I was, dude. I was, Sean was like, he's like, have you ever been in blackface, even as a kid or that? I was like, no, never. He no. goes, he goes, I don't get it. He, he, Sean was like, I don't. I've never had the desire. I don't. You know, I don't. But, he's like, I don't fucking but get here, it. Here's the thing. Not just that guy. It seemed like every year for oh. for years. It seemed, especially since Twitter, not just dredging up old pictures of people going out in blackface, but people in in this modern day and age at Halloween time going out in blackface. And for some reason, it's like almost always a teacher. Oh, dude. Yeah, there's it's almost there. always a teacher. It happens almost every fucking year. And every year someone loses their job and has to apologize. They went from no one knowing who what their name was, just the town they lived in and the kids they taught and the people they interacted with yes. to being fucking worldwide famous because they infamous. Because yeah. yeah, because they put on this dude, I'll never forget it. He put on a Michael Jordan jersey, a bald cap, and then blackface. And it's like just do the jersey, man. Yeah, dude, yeah. Just do the and jersey. And the bald cap. Jersey and the bald cap. That's Bird, yeah. fine. Whatever. Or fucking go as Larry Bird. Yeah. Just don't do blackface. Oh, and they do it every year. And every year someone has to, like, the society goes, don't do this. And they still do it. I, what I don't understand is, like, especially like a teacher. So you're a teacher. You, you uh, if, if you're a teacher and you don't know this is a bad idea... What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, why are you teaching? So that means so we'll give the benefit of the doubt that they their teacher they should know. Right. This is a fucking awful idea. So what is their what is their end game? Is there are they thinking I hey, I've got just the dopest costume and I'm going to commit to it. They're fucking idiots, dude. I don't yeah, I don't understand how you don't like <laughs> be, like even in Al Jolson's day, people were still like this is yikes. But he, 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 you could still do it. But people weren't like 
all on board. And then it just gradually over time, you know, we, everyone's just like, you can't do that. Yeah, and yeah. nobody, I just don't know if they, they, they also don't have Twitter or you don't. Who didn't tell them? That's not a good idea. Again, you're a teacher. How do you fucking not know that's <laughs> not a Congress, good idea? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, dude. Mind-boggling. Uh, Mind-boggling. And the congressman, uh, the the two in, I think it's Virginia again, uh, I think both of them did it like when they were in college. Yeah. Again, I, like, yeah. I, I, I'm not saying it's right, but if somebody, if a kid is fucking six years old, and he, he he does that because basically his parents do. Yeah. Then his fucking parents are dipshits. And I can't really be like, this kid at six years old knew what he was doing. Yeah, and no one's no one sat him down and was like, look. Right. But you're in college? Yeah. Or you're a fucking teacher? Yes. Oh, dude, I, I, I mean, fucking. Even- eventually you're going to get to high school where everyone thinks they have, an, again, everyone thinks there's someone and they're going to have an opinion, right? Yep. So eventually someone's going to tell you why that's a bad idea. Yeah. And enough people, enough people are going to tell you that, retain that information and stop doing this. And yet I guarantee you we'll see it next Halloween. Oh, yeah. Or in, in this a year. future Halloween. We'll, we'll see it. No, we'll see it this Halloween. Yes. Because they don't, I don't get it. Dude. Until it gets outlawed. And then who then was everyone's it? Everyone's going to do it. Yeah, who was it on the Today Show was saying, there was, or like Good Morning America or something, there was some lady that was saying, I can't, I don't want to misquote her, but I, it, she like caught shit because she was saying like, she didn't think anything wrong. With, I, I don't know. I got to, I got to see. I got, I don't want to misquote her, but there was you have somebody. To do more research? Yeah. I don't want to be the guy that fucking comes out with the you know yeah, hot yeah. take on i don't know all the fucking facts right. um Fuck. but speaking about and and the the other thing those two the the two congressmen it's fucking black history month and it comes out too <sighs> i mean not that it, not that if it came out in may which, it'd be like oh it's cool but which makes, but, me, makes me think whoever found that was just like i'll wait oh uh, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, i'll wait <laughs> finds it around christmas <laughs> dude we got to go to press with this <laughs> Let's give it a couple months. <laughs> you know how much this shit will right. blow up then? Let's wait until he spends millions of dollars on marketing. Campaign. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Black History Month, so I, I go, um, I went out to Phoenix this weekend and uh, got out there on Thursday. And uh, our buddy Casey, manager of uh, Stand Up Live and Tempe Improv and CB Live out there in Phoenix, mm. um, threw me on a show. And I, at first he was just like, oh, you'll be out here. So I'll throw you on the show. Great. Awesome. You know, just uh, always love doing stand up. Then uh, I take a look at the show. It's the Black History Month show. What kind of joking? So I'm like, I saw that poster. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, no, that's, you know, I love, I love doing black rooms. Uh, All respect. Sure. Black History Month. And, uh, and so I get there, and Casey's sick, so he's like, just ask for Bobby. Bobby Johnson, I believe, is the name of the, the producer of the show. Great dude. And uh, he's like, just ask for Bobby. So I ask, I go, hey, you know, are you Bobby? And he looks at me, he goes, oh, you're the guy. He goes, uh, Casey told me, huge dude, right? So pulls me to the side, and he goes, hey, the headliner uh, might not, he might not be able to make it, so... I might have you close out. Dude, okay, what your face is doing. So for those that are listening, Kane's what? eyes just jumped out of his head. Yeah. I was like, uh, excuse me, what? <laughs> no. You want, And so I said back to him, I go, wait, wait, wait. You want me to close out the Black History Month show? And the, the audience, I'd say, is, which it was packed. And I Bobby packed out the place. I think there was, it was probably 90 to 95% black. And I was like, uh, you want me to close out the Black History Month show, and uh, and uh, and you know again being the the comic side of me, I'm like, all right, and I'm also like, okay, this might be interesting, but I'm always up for a challenge and or a great bombing story. Yes, right. <laughs> so uh, he brings me into the green room, and uh, and introduces me to all the comics. Now, what I didn't know is, I guess most of the comics uh, on the show were pretty green, mm-hmm. like newer comics. I didn't know that. I, I just thought, it, and there was like, not exaggerating, there was probably 10 to 12 comics on the show. Oh. All doing like five to seven minutes. Oh, yeah. um, and so that's he's- a, inter- That's a long show. Oh yeah. God and damn. Uh, 
he's introducing me to everybody in the green room, and one of the comics, I forget his name, oh, and then he tells them, he's like, yeah, we may, he may be closing out the show. And one of the comics, it was so funny because he was... He, he was saying something, but he also was trying to be as respectful as possible to me, but also, but he was saying exactly what I was thinking. He goes, he goes, wait, 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 he's going to close out the Black History Month show? And I, I said, I go, yeah, I don't know, man. I was like, I get it. I, I again, and again, I didn't know that these guys were all new. So <clears throat> everybody's going up, they're doing their sets. Uh, and then this one kid, I forget his name. I think it's Pete or something. Uh, He's probably like mm, early 20s, white kid, they put up, and he does a joke that he looks like a 12-year-old lesbian or whatever, and, uh, and he does good, right? And, um, and, oh, before he goes up, Bobby opens up the show. He's like, hey, what's up, Black History Month? Everybody cheers. Everybody, audience is great. He's like, we got, uh, you know, it's Black History we got We've got nothing but black comics for you on the show. And I'm on the side like... Uh, this motherfucker, am I not going up? Or what? There's two white people. Yeah, well, I don't know if Peter was originally supposed to be on it, but so as the show's going on, they bring up Peter, and he does great, and uh, and then I'm sitting in the back, and then I guess the headliner did show up, so I'm not going to go last, which I was like, thank God. Whew. Yeah. Uh, oh, he really dodged a bullet there. Yeah. God damn it. They, uh, This girl that went up before me, she was talking about Peter, and she's like, yeah, we had a... You know, it's Black History Month. We had a colonizer on the show <laughs> talking about Peter. And so I was like, oh, great. So <clears throat> he, uh, the host brings me out, and I was like, oh, colonizer, that's a, that's a new one for me. I was like, by the way, we prefer colonizer, <laughs> not her. <laughs> Luckily, did good. And uh, there's two white girls in the very front row. So I just shit on them immediately, and the whole audience was on my side. Uh, I was like, oh, what's up, snowflakes? <laughs> and I was like, I, I think I said something like, you here to get some black dick? And the whole crowd fucking lost their mind. There was a black dude sitting behind him. And uh, I was I was going into that joke about how uh, black stereotypes it's awful, you know that you have to, the whole big dick thing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, are you? I was like, what's your name, brother? I was like, are you with them? Pointing at the white girls, and he was like, immediately, he's like, oh no. And so I addressed that. I was like, he wouldn't even let me finish. I'm like, you with the white? He's like, fuck no, fuck those white devils. He's like, I'm with this lady back here. But I, I only did like seven minutes, but it was so fucking fun, man. Uh, <sighs> I got the the tape. I'll show you the. I was thinking about putting it up, but. Uh, you know, it's, it's fucking, oh, and then one lady in the front, like to the left at the front of the stage is like openly just filming me. And I, and I'm like, please don't film me, please don't, you know, and then keep going. It was like, I fucking didn't say anything. Right. Just kept filming. I get, please, I, I don't want this on there. Please don't film me. And then I'm like, well, I can't really go off on her. It's black history month and I'm a white dude. I can't be like, Hey bitch, turn the fucking camera off, man. Um, so I think she filmed most of my set. So it probably is already on the internet. I don't Good. know. Um, but yeah, the, Oh, there goes your artwork. Oh, Kane's great artwork. Uh, I was going to plug it at the which end. You can go to scene red, uh, scene red on Etsy on Etsy oh, scene red. Oh. Um, no, but it was, uh, again, I think most of the comics were pretty green, except for maybe the guy that closed it out. I don't know how, you know, like one guy didn't even do his time in the middle of his set. He just, the host is standing next to me, and he's like, okay, good night. And the fucking dude's like, oh, fuck, so he has to run back up there. But that f show was so fun. Dude, uh, black audiences are the best on uh, on both sides of the spectrum. Right. If you bomb, it is the best. Oh, yeah. It's the most <laughs> silent bombing you'll ever hear. <laughs> and it's worse than being heckled. Oh, dude. It's so much worse because you're just like... You may, might hear a, give me, give a, in dead something. silence, you might hear a little... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and they know not to heckle because they're like, this will give them ammo. Oh. I, don't, I don't want this guy to know that I care that much. Whereas... A white per a white person will just heckle, oh, and like I was doing, I was doing. It's online. I was doing. I was opening for Mark Curry at the parlor, and it was predominantly black. And it was, and I was bombing. I was, and it was one of those epic black room bombings where they're like, Nah, <laughs> no, nope, don't like them. And they didn't like me the whole this is online? time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm bombing the whole time. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, at least you were consistent. <laughs> yeah. And like it, just, I'm like, fuck. And I'm really struggling to try to, like, do something with this. And I'm hosting. And I'm trying to bring up Ralph. And I want Ralph oh, yeah. to have some good energy. But I just can't, I can't get him. And then this white guy it just starts talking to his table. 
Oh. So I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Before you even respond, so you're on stage, you're bombing, predominantly black room, white guy starts talking, and were you just like, there's the life preserver? Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was, oh. it was complete. I was all of a sudden, I was just like in the middle of the ocean, and it's pu- it's pitch black. I can't see anything, and then a little light, yeah. a little, tiny a little light, white light, and a little. <laughs> I'm like, yes, maybe they'll have a life preserver. <sighs> And he goes, uh, I go, hey, 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 I know I'm not doing well, but we guys are doing a lot of talking. What are you talking about? And the guy goes, I was thinking about throwing this chip at you. And he pulls up a, a like a pita chip out of a basket, a shared basket. Yeah. And I was like, oh, really? And he had a, he had a British accent. And I launched into oh, this yeah. guy. And now I'm getting everybody oh, yeah. back. And I even address it. I go, they hated me. Yeah. They hated me until you opened your fucking mouth. <laughs> I'm like I'm bringing back race relations, baby. I'm building it up. <laughs> like now, I get everybody oh. to stomp you, and then uh, and I just kept going. And then I would ask him questions. It was probably the worst, like the worst heckle job, like dealing with a heckler, because I would ask him questions, <laughs> and then he'd go to answer it, and I'd tell him to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Well, I'm from. Shut, shut up, up, stupid. Yeah, I called him a cunt at one point. <laughs> I mean, I really went after him. Oh. I felt like. At that point, I was bombing, and the and the amount of anger I had at the audience for just s- sitting there, not giving me anything, I then bottled it all up. Oh yeah, shot it out at this guy. <laughs> just I, fucking redirected yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just shook up a soda and sprayed it on his face. <laughs> oh dude, that was a uh, when I came out in that uh, in that show. The first thing I said to the audience, I was like. I promise I'm the last white person on the show. I promise no more white people, you know. Right. It's just, uh, but it was, I mean, it's it's just, it was so fun, dude. I, I mean, you know, we, the comedy union here in L.A. is, it's one of my favorite places to perform at. Uh, I mean, you know, we were there, we went there, what was it, last Wednesday or Wednesday before? Yeah. Yeah, see, uh, to hear Moore's show. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, and fucking, I, I, I just love doing that club because it's uh the audience is there the energy there's so fucking yeah amped up you know and uh and it is also fun following somebody that maybe didn't do that well you know i mean the the show in tempe i mean yeah it's there's a lot of anger which i get but on the lady before me saying colonizers and shit i was like this is this is like a comedy show right this isn't <laughs> fucking is a spoken word are we uh, well they didn't do you any favors by going oh. It's, we have all black comics. Yeah, because it's just like, well, why are you lying to us, dude? Just, uh, yeah, dude. Book, when he said that, I was sitting next people. to the, I was sitting next to the host. I was like, is he trying to fucking set me up yeah. to just get fucking bombed? Yeah, this guy, this guy doesn't like you. Yeah, there's no way. He <laughs> no, does. he was he was cool as fuck though when we were in the green room, and it's also, you know, I, I know because I, you know, know. I, one of the guys knew me from All Def Digital, and that's the credit I had him bring me up as, you know, finalist or regular on All Def Digital. But I know a lot of the other comics because I'm not a Phoenix guy. Um, I mean, I have a lot of buddies now out in Phoenix, but I know that these guys were looking at me like, "Who's this white motherfucker? And why right. is he on the show? You know, fuck this guy." Yeah. And so to be able, I feel to... that way when you're on shows with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is this white motherfucker? <laughs> I hate this white <laughs> motherfucker. Uh, but to be able to, you know, like. Kind of again having that against you, so to speak, oh. and uh, all the shit that was said beforehand. Um, and uh, yeah. sorry, we're fixing this art for the video. Yeah. Um, to have all that shit, you know, said beforehand, and uh, and to go up there and again, you know, it's that it's that uh, high wire, you know, is are you gonna okay, am I gonna bomb or right. and uh, and to rip it, it was so fun, dude. I just say, yeah, that was uh, that was very fun. Highlight of the I did uh, time in Phoenix. I did a ha ha last night. Yes, and uh, decent crowd, really tight, super tight. They now does Brick host that? No, not or, always. All right, uh, John Brickley was there. John Brickley produces and uh, I guess sometimes hosts, sometimes does time on his own show. He didn't do it this time, which was surprising. I figured the I figured the only reason to have your own show yeah. is to constantly be doing time. And yeah, you don't that's f- why I would. Yeah. Um, but anyway, he uh, apparently, like, this whole fucking, pretty much the whole show, this audience was like, if they laughed at something, it was for, I'll be generous, 25 seconds. Damn, 25 they, seconds? They laughed. That's a lot. Okay, maybe I don't know you time mean, very yeah, well. Yeah, I'm like, 25 seconds. Okay, hold ha, on. Ha, ha. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, go. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, okay. okay. So I'll say they laugh for like five seconds. Five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Ha. And then done. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know time very well. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You're like, they were yeah, like maybe 20 minutes laughing. <laughs> it was a nice roll laugh. You know yeah. that type of where it doesn't stop? I really hated them. Uh, no, yeah, they just were like, they're like, ha, and then cut, and then ha, and then cut. And so you're just like, what the fuck? And I'm dreading going. And then Brickley's like, hey, we're going to put you in the sweet spot. Because I asked him, because I'm like, I'm getting ready to do my uh, my comedy album in March. And I'm like trying to get as much time as possible. So he's like, we'll put you in the sweet spot. You're like, what's that, another person's show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, they'll be nice and warm for you by the time we'll give you 15 minutes. And then he kept adding comics. We're going to give you like 11 minutes. Another comic comes in. We're going to give you like eight minutes. Yeah. Cool. I'm like, oh, God. We'll just... get you on the next show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so I'm like, I'm like, all right. Uh, it's finally my time to go up. And the last comic before me ended up like really, really ripping it. He finally like opened them up. Who was it? Um, oh, fuck. Nice way to support Kane. I, I, I've only comic. met him twice. What this is the comic. second time I met him. You're the comic that everybody's like, oh, this guy fucking thinks he's better, doesn't learn people's names. What a piece of shit. I go, I'm not very good with names. Oh, and he was black too? What yeah, a he fucking was. scumbag. <laughs> God, yeah. He? yeah. He has Sean? A, no, he has Grant? a deep voice and he even says he's like one of his jokes, fuck. I went up and shook his hand, and I was like, hey, man, I know, I think we met before, and then we reintroduced ourselves, and I can't fucking remember his name. God damn it. I What's know. he look like? <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a nice beard. He's got like a real, he's got a real, he's like, he's. Sydney no, he's, his Castillo? Joke, no, his joke goes, uh, my voice, he's got a really deep voice, yeah. and he goes, my joke, or my, uh, my, uh, I'm 5'10", but my voice makes me sound like I'm 6'8". Hmm. And that's like one of his opening lines. And anyway, fuck. Hmm. Whatever. Don't do that. You Go ahead. Me... Oh, the story is for not now. <laughs> the story stinks. Yeah. The story's... Go ahead. The story's bombing. So this guy that you didn't take the time or effort to learn his name uh -huh. rips it. Yeah, he does. He does a great job. And then... And uh, and then and then it was pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot! Well, no, what's just, your point of the story? No, the, you point of the whole point of the story was bringer shows. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, there's no, it's no. I mean, I was gonna make a point about why the audience was tight, but now that I can't remember that guy's name, I feel embarrassed. So. I guess we can move on to the next topic. <laughs> oh boy! I'm gonna fucking find his name, and then we're gonna do a. Are you going to look at the, the what should we call it, the flyer? You have Grammys. The Grammys. Did you watch it? I did not. Me neither. So that's done. Okay. <laughs> no, it's fucking Childish Gambino one. Cardi B one. Did he have a new album out or did he have something this come out? This is America. Oh, this is America? Yeah. Was that part of an album or did he just release the one song? Um, I think it was part of it. I think he, he, won, he was like the first artist to win like something like two things i uh, fuck I, I don't really follow the grammys too much but uh okay did you find him yes Kane's here we go king's looking at darius up. culpepper let me i don't even know if i met him Dude, he's fucking hilarious darius culpepper it's the second time i met the guy all right god damn it darius uh... i didn't know john's john's name for like six months <laughs> yeah <laughs> John who? <laughs> huh? Darius Culpepper. Yeah. I don't know him. Dude, he's hilarious. Never met him. Yeah, he tried riffing on fucking... They, they were so tight, he goes up, he tries riffing on the Liam Neeson thing, and they're just, like, not giving him shit. So he's like, all right, fuck you guys, and then went into his, went into his, his other shit, and he finally, like, he gets... He's, like, the one comic that was able to, like, really open him up. So when I go up there, they go back down... To, that was the point of the story. They went back down to zero. <laughs> okay. So I went back. So down. is a story. <laughs> fucking taking this podcast <sighs> down to zero. Go right, on. You know what? Never mind. No, you the have to fucking over. finish it now. It's not, even, it's not important. I hope it fucking keeps bombing. Go ahead. So I took the I energy. I thought it was going to be an Go okay ahead. story. You're the one that derailed it. By going, oh, the guy that went up before you that crushed. Like you remember that you were so impressed with. Buddy, you don't remember name. his fucking Who name. Who went up before you? Where? At fucking uh, Tempe. Bobby Johnson. Bobby Johnson. Now you're making shit up. No, I told you earlier. Bobby Johnson. What was the name of the host? Uh, his name was, oh God, he That's had what an I African thought. name, but I mean, he didn't go up before me. Yeah, he did. 
He introduced you, didn't he? Technically, that means before. Stupid. No. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, uh, I think it was Darius Culpepper. <laughs> <laughs> two places at you once. had met this guy before though i met him once before i don't remember oh Everybody's so you met him fucking, before i'm terrible at names jesus whatever frank <laughs> okay so what was are you done with that dumb story <laughs> it's just that there was two comics left one of the comics which who, who was left <laughs> some chick and then a guy oh my god some chick <laughs> some broad and, <laughs> and then a fella and then the the chick gets up and she's and you can tell she's new without even um knowing anything about her because she goes set up set up punchline and then moves the mic right. uh. she's like set up set up punchline and then she'll just Position the mic at different uh, parts in her body. Did she wrap the cord around her hand or loop it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She would uh, she would punchline, look away, move mic. Oh. And so I'm like, oh, she's brand new. She, and then then I look and it's like little fireflies and it's just it's a bunch of people videotaping her. All of a sudden uh, the audience is videotaping her and then it hits me. Oh, they came with her. Yeah. Oh, and that's why they've been fucking tight this whole time. Yeah. And then she gets off. They got one comic left. <laughs> They all get up and leave. Oh, so there's fuck. like five, five other ticket holders that stayed for the last guy. Yikes! And that was the end of the story. Darius Culpepper is fantastic. Find him online. He's really funny. Find him for this podcast. You should. Anyways, I bet he'd right. be a great guest slash co-host yeah. slash regular host. <laughs> just take it over. Yeah, just take it over. <laughs> the Darius Culpepper worth. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Uh, what? Uh, none of your business. That what? Okay, cool. Let's go on to the next. All one. right, next Fuck subject. Grammys. I didn't watch the Grammys. I just Jeremy was... Piven. Oh yeah. So dude, I worked with Piven this weekend. Yeah. At, um, at this club and. Uh, you know, it's uh, and I told I told him all this. Like going in, I was like, okay. You don't like him. <laughs> I told him that. Oh shit! I didn't really? tell him I didn't like him, but I told him I was like, I'd heard that his. I didn't say this verbatim, but I had heard that it wasn't good stand up. Uh -huh. You know, and I I uh, I went in preconceived, you know, thinking, oh, this guy's gonna be a prick, and he's just doing stand up. He doesn't give a fuck. Nice dude, fucking nicest guy, and the thing, I, and I told him this multiple times, is I respect that he's very humble in in stand up. Like he, he, one of the things he first told us, me and the host, uh, he said, "Hey, uh, I'm new to this." Mm -hmm. He goes, "If I'm doing something that's hacky, that I don't know, please let me know." And he was also, wow. yeah. And he was like, "If you have any tags, any anything you think, uh, I, dude, please, I'm totally open to this." He goes, "I, I haven't been doing this long, so any advice, I, I defer to you guys. You guys have been doing this, and you guys know it." And uh, dude, so it was a great weekend, and he's and the fucking audience loved him, and uh, yeah, he was, it was fucking good. I, like I didn't hear his whole set. The stuff I did hear, it was great, wow. and uh, he did his full 45 minutes. He's only been doing it 14 months. I would have, I would <coughs> have loved if you went up to him afterwards and you're like um so your opening joke is a buddy of mine's and you just accused him of oh, yeah. being a thief yeah you're like i i have writers well your writers are thieves <laughs> <laughs> just go hey uh like the part where you go hey what's up everybody that's cool but yeah. from there on <laughs> until you say that's my time yeah I've heard all that. Yeah, I've heard all that before. <laughs> Even the story about my mom, yeah, Mrs. Piven. Yeah, <laughs> dude, no, it was he was it was fucking Dorothy great. Piven, the whole Dorothy Piven. He actually story. does do a joke about his mom. I bet. Like she was an actress, and like he goes over lines with her. So he, what? All right. So what was the next topic? <laughs> My whole point is Jerry, Jeremy Piven. I prejudged him, yes, and you did. shouldn't do that. And, but, you, and you said to him, "I prejudged you." I did. And what did he say? Uh, he said he thanked me for like you know telling him that I yeah. I respect that he 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 respects the craft of stand up. Oh. He's not just looking for a money grab or whatever. He fucking he has the bug. He loves it. I'm always curious about those guys who start stand up after their acting career. Yeah. Or during, because I didn't really think that Jeremy Piven's acting career was waning, but you know, like I, I think yeah. I think he was in some shit. Anyway, I just think it's interesting that they decide to turn like a uh, bad example. Kramer, it's like the guy was a fucking. The guy was like, I think he was like an improv guy, and then mostly sketch acting. Like the guy really poured himself into acting, but then he couldn't get a goddamn 
TV yeah. show to save his life after Seinfeld. So he's like, oh, I'll just do what my my good buddy Jerry Seinfeld has been doing for years before he even got oh, his television stand -up? show. <laughs> what do you do? How, what was his material like? You know, it was pretty observational. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What did he observe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. But, moving but on. essentially, like, that was that was uh, Michael Richards' next, next thought was, oh, I'll just do stand-up. Yeah. Which I'm like, for, like, that, I'm like, come on, man. Well, dude, they, you know, they say. Fucking Costanza. Almost everybody but Julia Louis-Dreyfus in, in the cast, or I guess the, just the other two, the two guys. But fucking, he, would, he tried to do it. But he would just tell celebrity stories that were like unfunny, and it's. But he's really funny on the show. Whatever. I don't get how you can just be like. It's because stand up is the lowest f respected uh, art form. Ugh. You know, it's like so you know, you hard. wouldn't just go, ah, fuck. You know what? I think I can. I can do like Pearl Jam. I can just fucking do some music. Yeah. yeah or fucking. I can play guitar. <clears throat> oh, I can sing. Ah. See. Maybe yeah. I can be like Pearl Jam. What's it? What? Jeremy. I don't know any Pearl Jam I don't songs. Either. Wait. I, I'm going to read some Pearl Jam lyrics. Oh, great. Lyrics. Oh, this please. is going to be our Kane Reads Pearl Jam lyrics episode. Ep uh, what's, uh, what was the other thing we had on there? We had Jeremy Piven. And Jeremy, what's our time at? Jeremy right Pivens. 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 We're good. Phoenix. Valentine's Day. We already talked about that at the beginning. And to me bags. Oh, that's my fucking worthless of the week. Oh, you want to get into worthless? Uh, we can't. I got so many too. I, the video I'm doing tomorrow Ooh. Uh, for my worthless of the week. I'm gonna make a worthless today. You too. Gonna, do it. Have it come out tomorrow though. Maybe I will. And I'll give it to. We should follow uh, our new Instagram handle HWP at Hollings Worthless Program. Yeah, I gotta give you the password for that too. Yes, you can post on that. Um. Uh, to me is the, for the podcast that'll be my worthless of the week. The one I show tomorrow, you have to Ooh. follow us. Uh, follow us, <clears throat> dude. I wanted to get. I'm try, dude. I've fucking bought, I think four backpacks now, trying to find the perfect backpack. Mm -hmm. I got this Adidas one that I've been using for fucking five years, and it's it's the one I have here, and it's great and everything. But I want to get I want to get a new backpack. I bought fucking this nomadic backpack that was a Kickstarter, and they raised millions of dollars and. I don't know. It was fucking. It was like heavy as fuck, just empty. So I turned that back. I just got this one Hylete, H Y L E T E, and it's a sixty liter backpack, huge. You can unzip the bottom part, and another like twenty liters opens up. You can unzip uh, this. Like here, if your backpack is. Imagine your backpack on your back and <laughs> 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 fucking idiot. Great I am. review. Imagine your backpack is on your backpack, oh, you idiot. Fuck. All right, so the backpack <laughs> is on your back. You, you can unzip it and it like takes off the whole, the majority of the backpack. I don't know how else you would say this, you fuck. I'm going to show you, and then you fucking tell me how you would Dr say it. Drinking game for every time you say backpack. <laughs> okay, here. Like, where's your fucking. See, okay, here's my backpack here. You have to watch the video. If you're listening to this, you got to go look on the video. All right. So here's the fucking backpack, right? On your back. <laughs> and this fucking high leap backpack, this part right here, it unzips all the way. And then this detaches. And you just have like a detachable little part that oh. just holds like your laptop. Mm. Which, in theory, it sounds great. But then... It, like, doesn't have fucking, uh, just the, the thing is shit. Uh, or I don't like it. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, fuck. I'm still aggravated that I said fucking imagine your backpack on your back. Fucking idiot I am. Oh, God. <laughs> Go ahead. Give it to me. What? <laughs> your fucking, your review, your review is just... Your review is as bad as my story. Yeah, probably. <laughs> You're like, it unzips, and then I made it shit. 
I mean, I don't like it. <laughs> it's just fucking because I don't want to like get you, into it. I want to move on. I, don't, I fucking I'm still mad at the backpack. Imagine a backpack on your back. Okay. Hope we can do it. You fucking idiot. Where else would we imagine it? You dumb shit. Imagine your backpack on your back backpack backpack. Oh, and then you're just as you're ex- explaining, it's all hostile and you can't. And you're just like <laughs> shit. Well, I don't like uh, it. Oh, that was my favorite part. You almost convinced yourself that you do like it. Like you were going through all no. these emotions. It, it's like, it's a, in oh theory, it's a great God. idea, but there's not. Because I didn't want to fucking get into it. But now I guess I got to. <laughs> the high elite one, it doesn't have any fucking pockets on the front to store shit. So it's like if you want to get into your laptop shit, it's like you got to <laughs> unzip the whole fucking thing and get into it. And see, this is why it was fucking pointless uh. to explain it. It's shit, like I said. So... My whole fucking point of this, I get online to look up backpacks, and to me, I guess is like uh, a brand. The internet? What? To you? Wait, what? It's like... Wait, what'd you say? No, 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 no. Oh no, this might be my life preserver. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, go ahead, Kane. So, so you, you were jumping on the internet to me. So the internet was talking to you? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, dear God. I should just, at least you just move on. No. Uh, to me. So I get on the internet and I go to the to me website, T-U-M-I, because apparently. Bigrsj.com. Big what? what? Say it again. Say it again. I go to the website. Yeah, What? <laughs> What website? I, I know what you're doing. T U M I dot com. I go there. What? What about it? <laughs> what about it? It's shit. Yeah. I don't like it. So I go to T U M I dot com, and uh, because I read that, uh, like in Google searches, like they have a bunch of bags and backpacks. These fucking the average the medium price of a backpack on this fucking cunt website is five hundred dollars for a fucking backpack, <laughs> and that's the, uh, that's like mid range is right. five hundred. Jesus. So they have twelve hundred dollar backpacks. <laughs> I mean, it's a fucking backpack. <laughs> what? I'm like, a backpack should not be over. I, honestly, I don't think I. I mean, I paid for like a hundred and fifty for that stupid nomadic and the fucking high leap. Hi, Elite. Uh, is it a play on Elite? You fucks. <laughs> Ugh. But a backpack shouldn't be over 100 bucks. Yeah. Would you I, agree? I agree. To me, <laughs> BigIrishJ.com is fucking... Dude, it's fucking like fucking $700 backpacks. Oh, uh, God. We're in the wrong business. We need to make backpacks. Well, I'm like, what the fuck Imagine is... Imagine we make Can backpacks. you live in it? <laughs> That's a fucking rent. I know. Oh, I'm fucking crying. Oh, dude. Oh, fucking to me. Fuck to me. Uh, fuck me. Fuck to me. Fuck you. <laughs> so that's why Worthless of the Week is fucking to me I, and all their stupid fucking $700 backpacks. That's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. What I, do you uh, have? I, I'm i going to piggyback off of... I'm going to backpack off of your... <laughs> <laughs> okay, imagine a backpack. <laughs> on your back. On your back. Can you do it? Might be difficult. I don't like Probably it. Probably never seen that before. <laughs> I don't like it. It's fucking shit. <laughs> but you, you put out one like a few weeks ago where you're like, you have the Instagram. T- you, oh, the you, unfollower you, thing? You can find out who's unfollowing you and all that oh, shit. Did you get it? I tried to get it, but it like tried to upsell me on like, if you do a, if you pay five ninety nine a month, we'll show you who's unfollowing. I'm like. I don't Mine's just, free. I don't understand. Yeah, iPhone's just gouging the shit out of you. Mm. But, mm. but, mm. so, I'm, um, shut up. So, I'm, I'm just like, so I have my, th- I have three now. Like, I manage one with two other uh, yeah. co- co-hosts of my other podcast, Well Actually, at Well Actually Pod. Uh, and so that one's not fully on me. But I have this seeing red art, and then I have my personal one where I promote shows and stuff. And so as I'm doing this thing, I'm like, I'm more aware of people following me now because I have all these different ones. So when I get a notification, it's one to my, it's so funny to go to see one for my podcast, but not for me. Like the same guy won't follow the, follow me, but he'll follow the podcast. It's pretty funny. But so there's that. But then I'm watching these people follow me. 
and then I don't follow them, I don't know them. Yeah. And I don't know them to follow them. So I'm not going to – and I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to play that social media horseshit game where it's follow me, I'll follow you, and the more followers will control the world. I don't give a fuck about that. I don't have any interest. If you want to follow me – Yeah, you me, deleted your Twitter now too. Yeah. I don't, you just have Instagram. Just Instagram. I don't need this shit. So when I'm watching well, people might. unfollow – well, yeah. <laughs> when I'm watching people unfollow me – when I don't follow them, I'm like, that's the only reason you jumped on this thing? Is to get a follower? You're, the wrong, uh, you're picking for the wrong cherry tree. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yes! <laughs> you're, you're picking for the wrong you're, cherry tree. I Hold meant, on! I meant to say so uh, many no! other things. No! Fucking no! <laughs> This is a new saying now. You're picking for the wrong cherry tree. You're picking from. No, you're picking for the wrong cherry tree. I'm picking for that particular Is that cherry like you're tree. batting for the wrong team? <laughs> you're picking for the wrong cherry tree? You fucking, yes. I'm standing uh, by it. We got That's what I th- meant to say. That in the backpack. Oh. <laughs> So imagine a backpack on your back. Yeah. I mean, don't picking, be picking from the wrong cherry tree, though. For the wrong cherry tree. Yeah, for the, for the wrong tree. I'm over tree. here at this cherry tree orchard. Is that what they're called? Oh. And I'm picking for that particular one. I'm rooting for Are it. cherries, do they come on trees? Yeah. Okay. Cherry tree. Okay. Do they? No, I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Cereal help. Uh, I mean, you could say you like strawberry tree. You could say it with anything. Hold Grape on. tree. Cherry tree. Yeah, I think that is a thing. I can help you find a place if you turn on location service. Oh, God, dude. Cool. People watching or listening to this right now are like, these are two of the dumbest fucking idiots. Uh, they're not wrong. They're absolutely oh, not wrong. But I don't fucking, like, ugh. I don't, like, I don't mind the social media game that, that goes along with what you or Tahir or Kev on stage or Nate Jackson do, where you're like, I'm posting every day. I got these videos. I'm doing... It looks exhausting, oh, and I okay. tried to conjure up an idea where I would have something where I would post every day and kind of do the same thing you guys are doing, but in my heart, I just can't do it. Oh, no, dude. I, it's fucking – I mean, I, I, I will vent to Kev sometimes, and, he's, and he's, he'll be like, I get it. And, like, and you'll also sit there – I mean, I, it's interesting doing these interviews with them for the Aska podcast, Aska, the AskaShow.com. Mm-hmm. Um, like when we interviewed the YouTube star and the social media star or whatever, um, and Kev, we're all talking about like, you know, there's certain days you feel like, man, I just don't, I fucking, I don't feel like being funny today. Or I just, yeah. want, you know, I just, but then they say like, it starts getting in their head like, oh God, like I feel like I'll lose people just one day I'll lose. And it, it is like, that is in your head. Like, um, yeah, it's like like I have a thing right now that I'm like, okay, I have a video I want to talk about this magician, but I gotta, I gotta, you know, you have to sit there, you have to edit it. Basically, my process, like for this one video, because it's a long video, I had to download it to my, because I had to download it off YouTube, and I can't do that on my phone uh, with the audio without the audio messing up. So, I had to download it to my laptop. Then I had to plug my phone into my computer, transfer it from my laptop to my phone. Then I have to take the video because it's too long cut it down to size then i have oh. to put it in kind master which is the name of the program i use and then i have to edit it and comment and then i have to fucking upload it yeah so it is it's annoying and but i mean it's just again like it's you got to do it you know I, that's what i keep saying is just like i got to do it i got to do you, it you you got to do it and i can understand that because especially running in the circles of kev and to hear where that's what they do that's their and that's how they and tony baker tony yeah. baker and fuck, dude, the amount, like, anytime I see Nate yeah. post a fucking, I'm like, there's actors involved, yeah. there's a script, there's multi-camera shooting, like, that's a fucking, fucking process, yeah. and I don't have, I don't have that mindset to perform like that. I, I, I look at it the same way I do improv, where it's like, I don't have that skill, I respect it if you if you're good at it and you know what you're doing. I just don't have that skill. So when people follow me, this is what you're getting. This guy, the th- the funny things I think of. I'm not gonna. I I, I don't feel like doing the that uh, extra stuff. <laughs> and if that's what you came for, then fuck it. Yeah, unfollow me. But this the 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 fact that I just keep going up and down, up and down, up and down. 
kind of like sitting in the sitting in this just like one number. I'm like, I, I just it boggles my mind how people follow. Well, dude, and not 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 you guys doing your thing. The following process. Get it? Okay, I'll follow this guy because obviously, look at his numbers. He'll follow me back, and then I don't. So they're like, "Fuck him," and then they unfollow me. It's just like I, I would like to rather I I want to grow an organic yeah, following. Yeah. And this fucking, I'm not following you. I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. Dude, and it's like, uh, and the other thing too, like Kev talked about it, like, you you know, you'll you'll do a video and in your head you're like, this thing is going to be huge. And he said, and then it'll get nothing. And then you'll do one just like, oh, I got to do one today, so let me throw this up. And he says, and then that will go viral. And you're like, what the, like, uh, do you know Trevor Wallace? Mm-mm. He's got this, dude, he, he did a video. Uh, like with ear pods and like I think it's like listening and rich or something I forget the the thing but he did this whole thing like you know like oh I remember when I used to have cords and stuff like just being like if you have ear pods you're fucking uh, stuck up cunt or whatever right? right yeah did this video went fucking viral now he has he just passed a hundred thousand followers on Instagram Ugh. and I think it's like I mean he's been he keeps doing consistent videos and shit and he does like that thing where like he, he he'll do sketches and shit on his YouTube and I see like I saw the camera that he was using and everything. And shout out to Trevor Wallace. Very funny. Uh, follow him. Um, and I'm like, good for him. It's like, it's crazy. Like that one thing can just, you know, overnight, literally, yeah. you know, flip you. Like I, I think since January, since I started this January 1st, I think I've gained about 400 followers or 450, I think, you know, and uh, which is, you know, like in the grand scheme of thing, like I just keep seeing Kev's numbers go up on Instagram. I think he's added like uh, i think like fifty thousand in the last two months dude kev kev is a fucking worker yeah he's like he's a worker he's a fucking worker dude you're a worker he'll rise fast but i like he posted his he posted a blooper video oh yeah that's so funny i i i was exhausted for oh him. yeah as he's like my wife posted it mm. so my wife posted the other day mm. My wife posted, and he's he's like not. I don't, does he curse in his regular life? Because no. it's so funny to watch him go. God bless it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he doesn't curse at all. No. I'm like, man, not even when you're no, no, when you mess up. But he over and over and over again. Yeah. I'm like, fuck. I would have quit. <laughs> yeah, dude. And then he like uh, he'll. I think Tahir was talking about this too. Um, like if they're going out on the road, like let's say he's got to leave tomorrow at 5 a.m. and he knows he's going to be traveling and all this. So then the night before he'll get his video. And I'm like, that's the other thing too, is like a lot of times I'm like, how do you, it's like, there's not enough hours in the day. Like Kev gets up early and goes, works out at like 6 a.m. So, I mean, his day, like his day today will consist of, he's probably got up this morning, went to the gym. I went to the gym. Shout out to me. Um, but he probably he already went to the gym. He's going to do I'm sure he's going to do a couple of videos. He's probably doing those or preparing them right now. And then we're filming Aska. We're doing episodes from 2 p.m. until like 8 p.m. tonight. You know, and then in within that also, I'm sure he'll be working on stuff with his tour and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, like yesterday, I just I got back from Phoenix on um, what was yesterday, Monday. I got back from Phoenix on Sunday and I was just, uh, so yesterday, I really just was dead. Yeah. I just, like, I called you. We were going to do this yesterday. And I was like, dude, I got to do laundry, which I still haven't done. I'm going to do it over at Kev's. And then uh, I had some other stuff I had to do. And I, I just was like, oh, God, I just want to, I don't want to do anything today. Mm-hmm. You know? So oh, yeah. I had that on Sunday. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't, I had, I had sh- shows, 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 and I was podcasting and making videos and stuff. And I think the thing I do, like, the thing I, I found that I really like is, anal, <laughs> yeah, and giving it to me, yeah, this strong fella. Um, but I, I really like so I on on well actually, I'll cut together little moments, and I'm going to do it for Hollings Worthless too. I'll cut together little moments with like clips and gifts and stuff to put. I really like doing that, yeah. And if that catches on, I'll be happy with that. Uh, filming myself reacting. I think I get more in in my head being funny when I have like the camera position on me and it's just me going off of that thing. You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Where I'm just like, okay, here's what I think is funny. I have no other validation but myself. Uh, like, no one else is going to be. That feels weird to you? Yeah, it feels very uh, odd. Oh, Cause, dude. Because I'm used to this or I'm used to 
I'm, uh, I'm used to now. Okay, imagine camera. how you feel doing that. Now imagine talking to a camera and fucking just standing in your living room do, getting a video yeah. ready. Which uh, that's that's what I was saying. Like the first couple, I would tell Kevin, I was like, "Well, I did my stupid video today," and he would. He said, "He goes." You're going to feel weird the first few ones. You're going to feel weird, but then you'll get in the rhythm, which now, I like I did one the other day in front of Sean. I was like, ah, hold on. I got to record this. And, uh, you know, the first time I'd have been like, can you can you go in the other room? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I'm just like, let me bust it out. Yeah, I did a, so I did a solo. I haven't done a solo episode in a long time, but I, I saw Glass. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to talk about how much I hate. Oh uh, yeah, we saw glass, yeah. and I was like, I and I try to I'm try to talk you. about it on on the nerd podcast, but fucking Tommy doesn't watch anything, so I was like, I was like, I got to, I have to talk about this, the ending. So I like go through the, and then Kelsey comes home, and since I've been podcasting for for so long now, yeah, you're right. Before I would have been like, oh, let me pause it, hey yeah. baby, mind put some <laughs> air, but but I'm like, I'm in mid rant, oh, yeah. and I could give a shit what she thinks if it's funny or not. And so, yeah, so, but I guess, like, I'd have to, I'd have to get into the rhythm, but I just can't, I just can't. I think also my worthless is me a little bit, because mm. I just can't picture myself doing it right now. Oh, dude, I... It I, just yeah. looks so tiring. Just, it just looks like I, I, like I wouldn't be able to hang. Well, the other thing, too, is that, that uh, I've noticed from, uh, I mean... Again, it's like I, you know, I've said before, I'm learning from Kev on this social media stuff. And it, and it's not like he goes, okay, today in class, we're going to do this. But I mean, just from, just from observing and, and, and watching, you know, and just watch one thing, you know, uh, like those rants and everything where, where it's just you or whatever, like your fans, let's say you have, how many people do you have following you? Uh, it varies. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, what's eight, it's between eight. 59 and 851 you don't even have a thousand jesus <laughs> peasant uh no i know that's okay the, okay let's about. say you have a thousand right so let's say you have a why, thousand why followers can't we just do on mine what's up why can't we just go from the number i gave you okay 850 you have fucking 855 yeah let's double check right now let's i see. hope it fucking has gone down i would it would be great oh if it was god like what if you lost like a hundred that would yeah, be amazing fucking... <laughs> great part of me wants to lose them all so I can just be like, all right, just I delete guess your Instagram. Yeah, can be done with it. Eight fifty five. Great. I follow two fifty six. Okay, eight fifty five. I have, have thirteen hundred. Cool. Twenty four. Eight fifty five. So my point was, <laughs> you fuck, is uh, so Kev has I think fucking like seven hundred thousand, right? Sure. Um, the thing is like, it, it, and those are his fans. These aren't like fake followers. Those are his fans. So you have eight fifty five fans, right? Let's say 855 people that they follow you because they like Kane, right? Sure. So, you know, you may feel like uh, fucking who gives a shit or, you know, what am I doing this for? But those knowing from like Kev, people love Kev and they, they like to hear his takes on shit. So those 855 will like your takes on mm. shit. So you have to think of it that way. So even if you even if it is just a rant or whatever, you know, right, they'll like it. Even if it is, you know, you're you're picking from the wrong cherry or for the wrong cherry tree. I did I did get quite a bit <laughs> picking for the wrong cherry tree. I did I did post about how Tommy didn't like Rick and Morty. Yeah. On my on my Instagram. Never seen it. I I I don't think you, you don't like animated shows. I mean, I like it's like I like shit when I see it, but I've never been like like South Park. Every time I watch South Park, I'm like, oh, that's really funny. But I've never been like, I got to watch this next episode or I got to watch right. these episodes. Simpsons. My dad loves The Simpsons. I, f I don't think I've ever seen a full episode of The Simpsons or Family Guy. Like sat down and watched an episode beginning to end. That's weird. Yeah. There are people out there like that. But I mean, I like them when I've seen them, you know. Doesn't make but any sense. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I did rant about how Tommy didn't like anything. And I did get a bunch of responses from that where people are like, yeah. Tommy's a fool. The show's amazing, yeah. and uh, so I guess so. But I'd have to find. I'd have to be fired up like that all the time. About yeah, something. just always angry. Have yeah. an ulcer. I, all right. So today, guys. Yeah, I might do uh, like uh, might start doing a hoity-toity Tuesdays. Hoity-toity Tuesdays. And then we'll have the worthless of the oh, worthless what Wednesdays. Are you hoity-toity? Hoity-toity Tuesday. Hoity-toity Tuesday. Uh, do we have our Patreon set up? Um, yeah, but we, it's set up, but it doesn't have the, mm. so let, you know what, that's, uh -huh. that's going to be my things to do to get it completed. Get it done. By the next episode. Okay. Um, 
Get the Patreon. I going. think it's at patreon.com slash big Irish. We got a couple of great Patreon things coming. Yeah. I mean we can talk about it. So we're you gonna have talk uh, about the tiers. Yes. Yes. Um, that we have for not being famous. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um, no, we're I gonna have like uh and starting on the next episode, we're gonna do movie reviews. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, we haven't figured out if that'll be like a separate uh, its own thing, right? But or it'll just be on the Hollingsworth list. But we're gonna have a tier where you pick the movie and Kane and I will review it. But we'll give you the honest review. Yeah, our honest review. We won't just be like you pick a movie and we'll tell you that it's awesome just because you picked it. Like if we think it's shit, we're yeah. gonna tell you it's shit. Yeah, that'll be my favorite thing too. Yeah, because I'm always asking for I'm always asking people for their fucking recommendations. Yeah, and I really and and I love to. That's the thing I tell about, Kel- like, Kelsey won't go to the movies with me unless she really wants to see something. And I'm like, you don't get any joy on ripping oh, on a movie. I know. There's that's nothing like, more fun. I was telling somebody about that. Like, I said, uh, I, I was saying just that I love going to the movies. And I, I'm like, I said, my buddy Kane and I, you can, you can say, this is two hours of the worst thing you'll ever see. Mm-hmm. And I'll be like, dope, let's We're gonna go. go see it. Because <laughs> then we can make fun of it and throw stuff at the screen. And then when it's over, give it a standing ovation. Yeah, we uh, dude, we've turned audiences on shit movies. Yeah, that they enjoy it because of our fucking comments. Yeah, yeah, we'll. Uh, and so yeah, so that'll be one of the tiers. You suggest a movie, we review it. It's pretty much uh, a shout out to you. And then we'll also we also got a bunch of shirts. Yeah, that'll be available. We're gonna have an insane tier that nobody will do. Yes, that if you if you do it, then. You'll get flown out and uh, put up and then be on the podcast. Yeah. But it's like, it's one of those ones that we're going to put it at like something that nobody yeah. will do it. Like thousands. Yeah. But like uh, the, uh, we got worthless shirts coming. Yeah. So uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah. We should, uh, because we, I put together that one that says worthy. And I'm like, I'm wondering how many people want to wear a shirt that just says worthless. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's great. I think it also stands all by itself worthless. Yeah. Like it just, like, people are like, what is, like, oh, that guy's worthless. And then, like, look closer. <laughs> just say, worthless with an arrow pointing yeah. like, next to me? No. I'm with. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, I like a uh, worthless shirt. The one you put up, the one you showed me is fucking great. Plus, we got other couple of cool ones yeah. that I'm really excited hoity about. Hoity-toity one? Hoity-toity. Um, I'll tell you if I can. But we'll have more details on uh, the next podcast. And uh, yeah. yeah, so what was your worthless? Well, oh, it's just those people in the general. The people that follow and then unfollow yeah, and unfollow fucking. and unfollow. Because I'm just watching my numbers go. I and then hate it. And uh, I, in your app doesn't work. My app works so I can see like this person unfollowed me. This person, I'll go to there and I'll be like, "You fucking piece of shit." Yeah. I want to comment. Be like, "You fucking scumbag." But I've never had it before. So I accidentally unfollowed uh, Jacob Givens, ah. and he has that app. So then he hits me up and he's like, "Did I do something wrong?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Why? What happened?" That's hilarious. He's like, "You unfollowed me." I'm like, "Oh, Givens, I didn't mean to unfollow <laughs> you. I went to. I just went on my. I don't like f- having my feed fucking jammed up with so much shit. Yeah. Like if I want to follow what I want to follow." And so when I have too much, I was just like, there's a bunch of people on here I either don't know, uh, never interact with, or I don't actually genuinely want to follow. So I just went on an unfollow tear, and Givens got caught in the crossfire. Oh, poor Givens. Aww. All right. I think that's good. Uh, what else do we... Oh, you, uh, plugs. What do you got coming up? I'm going to be in uh, at the Comedy Underground uh, this Valentine's Day weekend, uh, Friday and Saturday. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. And then come back. Oh, I know. I actually have one Sunday and then come back Monday. And Sunday then, at the Underground, too? Sunday at the Underground. Nice. And, then, uh, and then March 8th through March 8th and 9th. Let me pull this back up. Oh, oh, so sorry. March 8th and 9th, I'm going to be at Looney's Comedy Corner Dope. in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I'll be with Jubal Flag. And then March 24th, Sunday, two shows at the Ice House Comedy Club for my album recording. I'll be there. Yes, he will. Um, if you're listening to this today on Wednesday, I am at Stand Up Live in Phoenix. Diva Danielle uh, found out she has stage four cancer, and oh, we're no. doing a fundraiser to help pay for some of her bills. You know, anything you can do. If you're in Phoenix, Tempe, Mesa, Scottsdale, greater arizona area um stand up live 7 p.m standuplive.com diva danielle um as far as other shows i know i have some stuff this weekend but my phone's recording this um 
video, so I can't look at it. So just go to BigIrishJ.com and click the uh, shows link. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, and if you're interested in any of my uh, art, I do all kinds of uh, – it's called Seeing Red Art. I use only pencil, red ink, and black ink to recreate. I did J, nice big clover. And uh, he's Big Red J. I turn any picture. This is a, from a photo shoot. Your big green fucking yeah. Celtics. And instead of it saying Celtics, it says cocaine. Cocaine. Co, co, cocaine. I did all kinds. I turned a guy into Mad Max. Uh, I, I fuck. I got, it's all on uh, at seeing red on Instagram. At seeing red art on Instagram. And then Etsy.com slash shop slash seeing red art. And I'm going to add one other thing. Uh, we want to do new art for the the cover of uh, for the the show Holly's yeah. Worthless. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, suggestions, tweet it at us yeah. or Instagram it Instagram at us. Me. Since Kane only has Instagram mm -hmm. or Facebook, I'm on all of them. Uh, Big Irish J on all of them. You're Lame. at Kane Holloway at all of them. And uh, I mean, you, you just keep deleting them. Eventually, you'll just have one uh, fucking yeah, that's thing. True. Um, no, but uh, yeah. So we gotta we gotta figure out what we're gonna do for the new podcast art. You know, yes. since we're committed to this we're committed to bringing you guys the utmost professionalism and picking for the wrong cherry tree <laughs> imagine a backpack yeah. on your back imagine listening to a podcast <laughs> oh god imagine watching one on youtube all right that's good ready yes no wait oh wait yes make sure you rate and review listen yeah. to the listen to the little message that comes right yeah. after this and wait 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 okay go <gasps> bye, bye. I'm just gonna have that be the video of you. Going like, ah, 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 ah. Now listen to this. If you, if a person fucking listens to this till the end, yeah, you deserve a prize. Your prize is to go to iTunes and rate or review this podcast. Give it five stars, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Fucking say something nice. <laughs> oh, you fucks. <laughs> I'm dying right now. <laughs> you motherfuckers. I've been doing this fucking piece of shit for five years. I'm averaging about two fucking reviews a year. <laughs> Go fucking write oh some, you motherfuckers. Holy oh, shit. fuck. That is the realest I've ever oh, heard you. God. Yeah, dude, what the fuck?